Hello, this is Path and Tarot. I'm Brent, and this is Path and Answers, where I answer your questions about the tarot, and then I'll give you a card at the end and send you on your way. Okay, so let's get into this one. Uh, can tarot cards predict time? This is a really good question. Um, the answer is sort of a gray, gray answer, because the it exists on a spectrum, like yes, but, yes, but. So there, there's a few caveats that go along with this. Um, the short answer is yes, you, you can tell time, but you just have to recognize like like a few few challenges that come with it, so that you know you can make it fit into whatever you're wanting to do with the tarot. Now there there are uh, devices like built into the tarot that can help in telling time. Um, the easiest to see is the, is the numbers on the cards, right? The pip cards, the one through ten, and then you've got the numbers uh, on the major arcana cards as well. Uh, you can use the suits, like the wands, pentacles, etc., to kind of associate seasons to that. Um, use any imagery in the cards that can help identify seasons, um, anything that's connected to time, uh, or the question you're trying to ask. So the, the, the tarot does have the capacity to do that, um, but there, there's, there's a little bit of a challenge with that. So, so here's what you uh, will find out if you were to do some research. So just go into a search engine and just type in something like how to tell time with tarot, just some sort of phrase like that. Uh, and you're gonna get a ton of articles uh, from a lot of great websites. Uh, and they all describe uh, a method or more or less like a system of working with the cards and having them associate a certain way to help you tell time. Uh, but not all of those articles uh, agree completely, so there's a little bit of inconsistency uh, with that. Um, so you just have to recognize that. So what it means is that the method that you're going to be using to tell time uh, is quite subjective. So it's going to be up to you to do research uh, on that and come up with the best way that you feel will help you tell time. That is, if that's what you want to do. Um, so it's it's really about you know the the educational part of the tarot community that just hasn't quite agreed on uh, some you know standardized method for this just because th there are variations and there they may there may be more variations in the future as people work um, with the cards and come up with different ideas so there's also that now my opinion with the tarot is that the the tarot cards uh, they they have a hard time depicting. Uh, time they're, they're they're inherently like non-temporal they have a disconnect with time um, i find the answers and the messages i get from me working with the cards um, can reference like any point of time in my question so it could be referencing the very very far future or if i'm asking about something specific it may be talking about my past uh, to help me get to the thing that i'm asking right because you you can go backwards to go forward in, in a new direction so the cards can do that. So they, they, they are sort of just non-linear. They, they can go in whatever direction they want. So that's not going to... What I'm saying is that it's kind of challenging to get it to go into one direction, like in a linear uh, way that... Because we perceive time that way, like it's here, then now, and here, then now, and, you know, and all that. So, so the cards just... They, I, I don't feel that how you work with them is, is fit for telling time. That's just my opinion. Um, a better way to go about this is to just get really good at um, asking specific questions and then following up with those questions. Um, getting more cards out of the deck to uncover what it is that card is trying to say. So a good example is you, know, you ask whatever question it is, you get your cards, um, and then you can inquire uh, into the meaning of a collection of cards. So you can ask uh, for your next question, well, what does that mean? And so you can keep going that way as you just keep investigating these answers until you get somewhere that you basically want to be or, or you're satisfied with the answer. Now, that can take a lot of time, and, you know, we have talked about this in other videos where can your uh, tarot cards fatigue or can you get tired? And, and the answer is yes, like, you, you, you can. Um, you just don't want to ask the same question over and over, you, you want to be able to ask variations. So this method of investigating your answers is a way to kind of go deeper into the rabbit hole. Um, you know, get more insight on the answer that you've get. So you get like a particular card, you don't really understand it. You can ask the tarot, hey, I'd, I'm not understanding the, the meaning of why this card is appearing in this way. And then you can go that direction. 
and you just keep going until you're satisfied. So you could get tired after a while, so you don't want to go too long, but uh, that's what you can do. So really, in the end, uh, yes, uh, telling time with tarot is possible. There'll be a few links for you at the bottom uh, to r read some source material. Um, but, but my opinion is, is if, if you get good at asking specific questions and being able to follow up on those questions, I think you can get to the heart of the matter of what you want to look for uh, that way too. So you can do that. Let's, uh, let's draw a tarot card here and see what we get. Just be no question. Just just jam on a tarot card here, and we've got the uh, seven of wands. Kind of an that's kind of an interesting card. It's almost like um, if we kind of use the image literally, it's almost suggesting there's like a lot of uh, work happening, or sort of this uh, like a almost like a battle maybe. Not quite like the battle you'd see in the Five of Wands, but something a little bit closer to that. A little bit of a struggle. But this is kind of cool because we're talking about the struggle of making a method work um, over, you know, with, with a, a device like the Tarot that's not, in my opinion, not really fit for that. So you're kind of forcing the Tarot into doing something that uh, it's not exactly good at to begin with. Um, so maybe that's what this is trying to say. That's kind of a cool thing that the the cards are recognizing that in a way. But again, don't don't listen to me about uh, the tarot not telling time because you you can make it work. Because um, really, you're just overlaying. You're creating a system for yourself, a method that you're going to overlay on, you know, on the cards. And if, if if it all fits and works together, then yeah, you do you do have a method uh, for that. Um, so it's really up to you and how you want to work with the cards. Uh, so I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you out there.